It's uh, 1.50 p.m. on uh, Thursday, the 11th of December, 2014. I'm Mark Strassman, reporter with Utopia News. I'm about to talk to Bart Myers, who's the um, uh, co-founder and CEO of Countable. Welcome to Utopia News. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Um, what is Countable? Countable is a website, iOS app, and Android app, where you can see legislation that's coming up for a vote before Congress and clear, succinct summaries. You can tell your representative how you think they should vote on those bills, and then you can follow up on it and keep track of if they listen to you and how closely you align to them. How is it available to users? Again, it's available through the web at countable.us, and then the Countable app is available in the Android App Store, the Kindle App, and the app Store. Okay, and uh, is there any cost to the users? There is not. The app is free. The website is free. Uh, the value of the service uh, for end users is, is uh, intended to be free. Uh, what's your business model in that case? Uh, the business model is still evolving. Um, ultimately, we'll be selling premium services uh, to probably nonprofit organizations and other groups who would use Countable as a means of reaching and expanding their audience and engaging their audience on mobile devices. Um, talk a little bit about your intention in starting Countable. You know, it was a very selfish intention. Um, my co-founder and I uh, both felt uh, very um, uh, <clears throat> unable to access uh, the political process in a way that we thought was simple and intuitive. We felt that the tools that largely existed uh, were made for insiders, uh, were highly um, technical, uh, and required uh, the average user to spend a, a lot of time trying to understand something that's frankly designed uh, to be obtuse. So our feeling was there's got to be a better way, and our hope uh, was that we could uh, build a product that would uh, help bridge that gap and make it very easy for anyone to understand what's happening in government and what's happening in politics. How long was the development process? Uh, well, we've been actively developing now for about a year. Um, we launched the web product, uh, the website, in May of this year. Uh, the iPhone app was launched in July, and we just launched the Android version. OK. Um, let's say I'm a citizen who cares about an, uh, an issue. What kind of interaction do I have with the, with the program? Uh, it's very, very straightforward. Um, the majority of, of issues affecting you today uh, that are in the news should appear on the home page or on the launch screen. Click on that issue and you should see legislation related to it that's either coming up for a vote soon, has had recent activity, or is likely to have activity soon. Uh, you can then learn about it. Um, we have clear summaries. We have a pro and con argument. We tell you how much the legislation is likely to cost based on congressional estimates. Uh, we give you additional resources to learn more, and we give you a simple one-click yay or nay. And that, that action, that one-click yay or nay, then triggers sending a message to your representative informing them of your opinion about that piece of legislation. Does it, does it have a message with it, or does it just say one-click for or one-click against the bill? It does. It has a message. Uh, it has a, actually quite a bit of information. So we want to give the uh, legislator as much information as possible to uh, track down that piece of legislation because in some cases this may not be something on their radar. Um, and then you have an opportunity to edit the message and personalize it. Uh, and we definitely encourage people to do so. Now does this only apply for the federal government or state governments or what's your, what's your rollout strategy for that? Yeah, great question. Um, so we launched uh, covering the federal government and all federal legislation. Um, so that, that basically encompasses for each congressional session uh, you know, up to 10 or 12,000 pieces of legislation. Uh, obviously, our focus is on the legislation that, that matters and is likely to come up for a vote. Early next year, uh, we'll be releasing Countable for states and municipalities. And we're currently working on the launch list for what that'll look like. What kind of team do you have to prepare the uh, pro and con arguments? So we have a, a staff of writers uh, and then an editor-in-chief uh, with a journalistic background, and then we have an editorial board. Um, and together, they uh, compile the arguments, do the research, do the write-ups, uh, evaluate the, the objectiveness and, and 
essentially that both both sides are clearly represented, um, and then publish it to the to the site and the app. Do you let do you let outside parties who support or oppose the legislation uh, provide information for users? You know, we welcome contributions from outside parties, and we have received some. We don't yet have the uh, capability built into the product uh, for that, uh, but you will see that in 2015. What kind of reaction have elected officials given to this program so far? Oh, that's a great question. Um, in general, they're they're um, they're just kind of beginning to, I think, wake up to um, what it is, the potential of it, uh, and understand it and see it in action. Bear in mind that most elected officials don't answer their own email. Um, so in most cases, it's a staffer who's actually responding to the messages that we're sending. Um, and that goes through a, uh, a you know, a, a fairly sophisticated um, customer response system that they have in place. Um, so in, in general, the, the feedback we've received has been more from staffers and um, individuals within congressional offices who have feedback on the structure of the messages, the, input, the way the information is coming across, and recommendations about how we can make that process better and smoother. In general, staffers um, love the concept um, and are very encouraging of it. They want more direct impact in input from constituents. Uh, it's very important to them to get that. How many uh, uh, applications have been used so far? How many uh, messages have been sent? Uh, we just crossed 700,000 messages uh, being sent. Um, the, the bulk of that has really been over the last four months since we, we launched the mobile product. Um, the mobile app just makes it very seamless and very easy for a user to uh, get an update that a piece of legislation is coming up for a vote, go in and seamlessly um, express their opinion on that piece of legislation, and then start looking at other legislation that's also important to them. What issues have been the most prominently uh, uh, reacted to? Oh, um, you know, uh, pretty much, pretty much everything that that you would expect to see and have seen from a mainstream standpoint: immigration, um, uh, healthcare, of course. Um, uh, you know, the the there have been a few um, outliers. For example, the House uh, voted on suing the president. Um, uh, I think a month and a half ago, uh, and that actually, I think, to date, has been our highest voted on piece of legislation. Um, How so did people do? People want them to? Do people want Congress to sue the president or not? Uh, it's pretty varied. Um, we have a uh, we in in general for most legislation, we're seeing a, a fairly even split of yays and nays. Um, so it's definitely um, it, it's definitely a varied audience with sophisticated views. Um, so it's a uh, it's hard to characterize it one way or another. So it sounds like you're getting a cross section of a divided country rather than just uh, uh, input from one one side of the aisle. It does sound that way. I don't know if we can say that yet, um, and I don't know. You know, I, I I'm I I personally my personal thesis is that the country is not as divided as it looks. That most voters are issue driven voters, and they have particular issues that they're divided about. But there's a lot of things that they agree on: um, safety, uh, great education, um, things of this nature, clear areas of agreement. And there's a lot of legislation that comes up all the time in Congress and at the state level and local level, uh, where voters should be aware of the the impact on those key issues that we all feel strongly about. What impact do you hope uh, Accountable will have overall on the political process? Oh, it's got to make people feel empowered. The key is that 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 the average uh, the average American should be able to feel like they can see what's happening in government, um, independent of their satisfaction with how government is doing. They need to be able to have access to that information. That's empowerment. Uh, if we can do that, um, we have we have achieved a, a tremendous win. Uh, Incountable is going to going to you know it's going to be a, a key I think tool foundation pillar for kind of a reflowering of democracy. So you see it. Uh, at least as a tool for education, as much as a way of allowing people to express their views on how the elected officials should vote. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it, access to the information, I think, is the number one challenge. Uh, I um, think I, you yeah, can't form ahead. an opinion without it. So, what are you going to say? No, go ahead. I was just saying that you 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 really can't form a, you know an informed opinion from the information that we're given about legislation. 
largely it's highly technical, um, very difficult to parse, uh, and and difficult to understand. Let you know, let 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 um, you know, let r reporters, journalists, analysts, you know, translate that for us so that we can get a much clearer sense of what it's about. Now, a lot of people feel that the amount of influence a person has on a legislator is pretty directly uh, uh, related to how much uh, they've contributed to their re-election or election campaign. Yeah. How is Countable going to counteract that if it can? Well, I think it can. Um, you know, I think the the prevailing uh, environment, um, obviously, that's that's going to be challenging, right? The the money in politics um, is not going down; it's going up, uh, and and clearly there is influence that is purchased through that. That being said, um, the byproduct of what Countable is creating is a way for uh, an individual to directly see and, and measure if their voice is being listened to by their representatives in a way that was never before doable. In other words, I tell my representative to vote yay on, uh, let's say, Keystone, hypothetically. Uh, right. My representative votes no. Uh, I then get a notification from Countable saying, your representative disagreed with you on this. And over time, that builds to essentially a report card of me versus my representative. Um, that's never never existed. Um, we've never had a a simple way for me to evaluate has my representative in fact represented my specific views. Certainly, you can see uh, voter scorecards for large organizations versus a representative, but how does that representative represent me? And that's what we've done. Will that data only be available to the uh, user and the uh, elected official, or are you going to publish information about? trends and tendencies and amounts of uh, a yay and nay votes on uh, pending legislation. Yeah, definitely. Trends trends are coming. Um, how you know how we roll it out, we're still still figuring out. We've got a few other core capabilities we want to launch first, but um, they're definitely coming to the to the product. What have been your greatest frustrations and satisfactions in doing this work? Yeah, my greatest frustration um, is uh, really just that the um, the, the information um, to to get an effective uh, and clear view of what legislation is coming up for a vote when um, uh, you know you you have very very short time frames that you have to turn turn this information around uh, often you don't know that a bill is coming up for a vote as a user um, for you know the the Friday before the week of the congressional session which is just ridiculous. Like if if Americans are going to be able to have an effective dialogue with their representatives about when a vote's going to happen on legislation, they need more time to process it and give their representatives their viewpoint. That being said, um, on the satisfaction side, I mean it's just extraordinary the feedback we've gotten. People are, um, you know, really enjoying the app, using it, um, and you know are, are are in you know every day we somebody tells us that this is this is really changing their view on. Democracy, making them feel more involved, more engaged, and frankly, more satisfied. The news that I've been listening to this morning tells me that there's a, a continuing relation omnibus bill in the House that has to be voted on, and that yeah. Elizabeth Warren doesn't like it to include provisions that would loosen restrictions on derivatives trading. Can I tell my legislator that in a, in a timely way if the vote is? complicated and the time when it's going to vote and the amendments that will be considered are are, are really not as simple as they might be? Absolutely. I mean, there, and, and you always, um, you know, we, we've always had that capability and I, you know, I think fundamentally, um, you know, that's the one, the one area where journalism does a good job is when, when there is a major piece of legislation um, that's getting, you know, a lot of visibility you know, we should have an easy way then to say, hey, all right, where can I go and contact my rep? Countable's the way to do it. But you could certainly call them. You can go to their website. You can email them. Like, there's a lot of different ways you can contact your representative in the event that it's on the news and it's big news and, and you saw what you saw. The challenge is that, that most legislation that's being voted on never makes the news, right? It never gets that write-up. It never gets that sound bite, and you have no idea that it's happening. Uh, but it all affects us. It's all very expensive in many cases. Um, and you know, very important for us to respond to. So it's it's more that you're going to give people 
uh, good information on both sides of issues that are pending rather than be able to follow uh, breaking developments in new amendments and, and procedural votes and, and processes like that. Is that right? Uh, I wouldn't say rather than. I mean, I, I, we, we, we do both. Um, but I would, I would argue that um, the, the latter has been done reasonably well. If you're, if you're interested in following procedural um, level... Well, the procedure and the substance. I mean, if I want to say, I support Elizabeth Warren, and I want you to try to get that provision that loosens the uh, derivatives trading uh, uh, regulations removed, can I do that with Countable? Sure you can. Absolutely. Okay. Good. Uh, tell us before you go then how people can uh, can get countable and and make the uh, argument about why it's a, a a valuable tool for citizen engagement. Yes, definitely. Thank you so much. Um, you can get countable by typing uh, the word countable into Google and going or going to countable.us or looking up countable in the app store of your choice. And in all cases, you will either find the website or you'll find our uh, mobile apps. Uh, the product is free. Uh, it lets you um, very quickly get a view into what legislation is active or coming up with short, succinct summaries. Uh, it keeps you updated on, the, on, on what's happening in government uh, and gives you a way to both tell your representatives uh, how to vote on legislation and then evaluate if they listen. Um, it's, uh, we'd love your feedback. Uh, please contact uh, us. You can do that through the Countable website or at feedback.countable.us. Okay, good. I want to thank you very much for your work in this regard and for talking to us about it today on Atopia News. Thank you very much, Mark. It was a pleasure. Talk to you later. Bye.